In this video, I'll show you how to write a script that will automatically update the Roll20AM API with a list of your most current tracks and playlists anytime you make a change. All right, now, a quick disclaimer, because we will be writing a script to modify a script, this does require a pro subscription. With that out of the way, let's talk about some context. You may have noticed, and I'd say this is probably one of the most commonly asked questions that I get whenever I do a video about using Roll20AM, is that when you add a new track or when you modify a track or a playlist in the jukebox, that change is not automatically reflected in Roll20AM. So let me just kind of illustrate that. If we come in here right now and I go Roll20AM config menu tracks, this shows me a list of all the tracks that I currently have. And if I come in here and I add a new track, let's just go into manage audio here and I'm going to go to tracks and I'll just grab something here uh, from tabletop audio. Sure. The 1920s speakeasy. Why not? Right. Add that to the game. Okay. So that's there. But if I run roll 20 AM config, it doesn't know about it. It's not listed. So in order for Roll20 AM to know about this, we need to run a couple of commands. And the commands we need to run are Roll20 AM dash dash config comma remove. And what that does is flushes everything out of Roll20 AM. You can see there it removes all the tracks. And then what we're going to do is run that same command config, but with an import. And now all playlists and tracks have been imported. So now when we run the menu command, there we go. There's our 1920 speakeasy. So anytime you add or modify a track or a playlist in Roll20, you need to run through those two commands. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to write a script that will run those commands automatically anytime a new track is added, a track gets changed, deleted, or a change happens to a playlist. So let's see how to do that. All right. I've already got my game's settings page here and I've gone into the API scripts and what I'm going to do is say add new script and we're going to call this script roll 20 AM helper. All right. And let's make this a little bit bigger so that it's easier to read. There we go. All right. So what we're going to start out with here is a function called update roll 20 AM and we're going to just have some parentheses there. No, so we're not passing any parameters to this function. We're going to put in an open curly brace here. And so, again, everything in between these two curly braces is what will happen when this update roll 20 AM function gets called. And essentially all this function is going to do is run those two commands that I typed in earlier, the remove command and the import command. And we can send those commands into the system from the API via the send chat command. So we're going to say send chat and the chat will be coming from the API and we're going to say exclamation point roll 20 AM dash dash config comma remove and then send chat API uh, again roll 20 AM dash dash config comma import. There we go. So again, these are the exact same two commands that we will be sending into the chat box. It's just now the API is doing that for us. Okay, so far so good. Now what we want to do is anytime a new track gets added, we want this update roll 20 AM function to get called. So we can tell roll 20 to invoke commands when a particular event occurs. And the way we're going to do that is by saying on add jukebox track. So whenever a new track gets added to the jukebox, we're going to do whatever is in between these curly braces right here. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to update roll 20 AM. So we're going to call that function that we did earlier and we're going to put a semicolon right there. That's it. So now whenever a new jukebox track gets added, then this update roll 20 AM function is going to get called. So let's do this. Let's save this. All right. And let's take it for a spin. Okay, so here we go. Right now, just to show there's nothing up my sleeve. All right, there's our tracks. You see, we've got those ones. Barovian Castle, Sleeping Dragon, yada, 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 1920 speakeasy. Okay, back to the 
jukebox. We're going to go manage audio. I'm going to go to tabletop audio. And let's add the 1940s office. All right, so we're going to say add to game. All right, so here it is now in our jukebox. And you notice the chat lit up. Check it out. All playlists and tracks have been removed from Roll20 AM and they've all been imported. So those are the outputs of the remove and import commands automatically being fired. So now if I run the tracks command again, there it is. 1940s office is there. So now that's automatically going to update anytime we add a new track to the jukebox. So let's take that a step further. Let's say that we rename one of our tracks. You know, I, I don't want to call it 1940s office. Maybe I want to call it like it's the uh, detective's office or something like that. Well, what we're going to do is go back to our script and I'm just going to copy this, these three lines here, paste, and I'm going to change add to change. So on change jukebox track. So if the name of a jukebox track changes, we're going to call the update function, right? So let's save that. Okay. So right now it's called 1940s office. All right. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it the detective office. You see it already lit up over here in chat. There we go. And if I do the menu command with tracks, Detective office. Cool. Now, because Roll20 AM is keeping its own list of tracks that you have in your game, it's possible for them to get out of sync. Like if you delete a track, Roll20 AM is still going to think it's there, right? So we need to run this update Roll20 AM command again anytime we remove a track from the game. So for that, again, we're just going to copy these lines. And I'm going to change this from change to destroy, right? So that's it. So if we delete a track, we're going to run update roll 20 AM. So let's save that. Okay. And let's delete the detective office, right? We, we aren't doing that anymore for whatever reason. Maybe we, we took that scene out of our game. We don't need it. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say delete item. And you notice we already got the, the light up on the chat there. All right, and if I run the tracks command, you can see now the detective office is automatically gone. So we have made it so that we will automatically update all the tracks that Roll20 knows about, or that Roll20 AM knows about, I should say, anytime we add, modify, or delete a track. Okay, cool. But what about playlists, right? You know, if you, if you make tweaks to a playlist, you want to be able to update those as well. So if, if I run the config command, if I run the config command, I can come in here and I can see my playlists, right? Similar deal. But now if I say change test tracks A, let me edit that. I'm going to change it to be test tracks B. And I run that command again. You see Roll20 AM still thinks it's called test tracks A. So we have a similar issue here that when a change is made to a playlist, Roll20 AM isn't going to know about it unless we run that remove and import command again. So what we're going to do is go back into our script here. I'm going to copy these lines again, paste. And what we're going to say here now is on change, and this one's going to be a little bit different, and I'll explain why as soon as I'm done typing. So it's going to be on change campaign colon underscore jukebox folder. Okay, so what's this doing? Unlike tracks, which are individual objects within your Roll20 game, there is no playlist object. So here what we're doing is we're actually saying, okay, anytime an object of type jukebox track gets added to your game, run update Roll20 AM. Or anytime an object of type jukebox track gets changed, update Roll20 AM. But there is no playlist object type in Roll20. There is just this notion of folders. And so if you look on the documentation, like I'm out here on the wiki right now, and I'm going to go down to the campaign object, you'll notice we've got this jukebox folder. And the jukebox folder is basically just a, a JSON string. It's, it's just a string that contains a list of information about the jukebox itself. So it's not 
uh, an array of objects like with tracks or anything like that. This is just a string that contains information about the actual playlists themselves. So essentially what we're saying here is any time that jukebox folder string changes, and it's going to change when a new playlist gets added, when a playlist gets deleted, or if it gets renamed, this one command is going to cover all three of those scenarios. Any time a change is made to that string, we're going to update roll 20 AM. So let's do that, right? We're going to save the script and let's go back here now. All right. And I'm going to go back to my jukebox here and I'm going to rename uh, my music 11. I'm going to rename it to my music 27. Sure. Why not? And you can see we got our note. And if we run the playlist command, my music 27. So that's how you can write a script that will automatically update Roll20 AM to include the latest and greatest tracks and playlists in your game anytime you add them. And the great thing about it is this concept of firing events off when an object is added or modified or deleted, this is for more than just jukebox tracks. This works for any kind of object you have in your game. So this will work for graphics, it'll work for maps or for tokens, uh, for players. Anytime you add a new player to the game, you want some sort of script to run. You can do all those sorts of operations using these events, the on add, on change, and on destroy. And there is documentation in the Roll20 wiki that talks about each one of those events. You can check them out if you're interested. So, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.